Hello, Libra, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Will's Quartomancy Tarot. If you're new to my channel, I certainly appreciate both your viewership as well as your subscriptions. Okay, so Libras, I like to revisit your financial situation, and we're going to do so in this discussion, and we're going to make this discussion part B. And we're just going to see, Libra, what's ahead for you. When it, in, in regards to your financial situation from now until the end of August, okay? This is Part B, Libras. Rest assured that this reading simply will not resonate for each and every one of you out there. But for those for whom this reading is meant, I certainly hope it offers you, Libras, the valuable information that many of you are seeking so that you can at least make your best informed decisions okay and with that said ladies and gentlemen i ind as indicated in part a i said i would use my tarot cards in order to convey your message and what i'm going to do is i'm going to go on and just shuffle up here and i'm going to start off Libra by sharing with you what I'm seeing as the overarching theme that pervades your reading or the headliner and then I'm going to look at your past situation to kind of get a better understanding of or gain insight into, you know, where you kind of come thus far or came thus far. And to just share with you what I'm seeing um, in your present situation. And then, Libra, we're going to just... I'm just going to share with you messages on what's not important, okay? Because in life, there are oftentimes we tend to focus on things that are not important here, okay? And then I'm going to share with you what I'm seeing as important and the challenges that might impede success. Then I'm going to share with you what I'm seeing as what's hidden in your situation and the probable outcome, Libra, if you continue on as you are, okay? Understand now that this reading only shows a portrait of what's really presently happening now. So understand that ch things can change at any moment here in Libra if I'm predict if or if I predict anything that appear to be negative to you, and it has yet to happen. Remember, you are Libra, the captain of your own ship here, and you can certainly examine your um, situation now to mitigate any type of negative events that might occur as a result of your actions, okay? If this reading does resonate with you guys, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, share with others to whom you think might benefit, and Libra, be sure to press that subscription button so that you can see all future readings, all right? So let's go on and get started, okay? I'm going to select a few cards, Libras, from the bottom of this deck here just to share with you again what I'm seeing Um really coming towards you or just the overarching theme or the headliner that's really pervading this entire reading here. And usually these cards often gives you the, the answer um, to your question here. So we're, we're trying to figure out what's true about your financial situation. So, okay, I'm going to select three cards. We have the page of pentacles. Okay. Which is a good card for money. Particularly the world. Another good card, Libra. Wow. And Libra. Wow. You have the Ace of Pentacles. So right off the bat, Libra, I know that your financial situation will be improving considerably here. Okay. So let me go on and just make a few general observations, Libra. And then we're going to go on and gain more insight by just pulling more cards. Okay. So, certainly, we have here, let me get out of my wand here, we have the, the world card here, and Libra, the world is connected with Saturn, and it's connected with global 
responsibility and working, ladies and gentlemen, cohesively as a team here. It even concerns itself with higher education, even a new degree. It shows, ladies and gentlemen, because this card here is basically the center most focused here. So you guys have certainly come to an end of a cycle here, okay? The end of having financial problems, at least for now, okay? Because I'm, I'm certainly seeing this card is certainly all about fulfillment. It's all about permanency. It's all about liberating yourself, Libra, from financial restrictions, okay? And then let's just take a step back here. We have this page of pentacles. All right. So with that page of pentacles being there, Libra, that kind of certainly I see you very happy and enthused. And this card certainly signals a financial gain is to be expected, Libra. And some of you may have already received it or you will be receiving it soon. And that I also see many of you you're about to receive very good news here. And you can see that just we have directional clues here. So you can see that this page of pentacle is pointing towards the right here. So it, it's either has, it has already occurred or it will be occurring soon. You see whether what is pointing to the world and ace of pentacles. Wow. These are very good cards, Libra. Okay. So I see you, it looks like you're going to even get an offer of perhaps even starting a business of your own, or perhaps if you're already in business, Libra, or have a business of your own, it's going to certainly flourish. I also see you setting, Libra, more realistic goals um, with regards to your finances, because this is what this page of pentacles really try to, tries to do, although this page of pentacles sometimes has a very innocent or youthful approach to doing things here but it also shows too because you do have a youthful approach you all your mind is also open i'm kind of getting here with seeing these cards if i can just keep them up libras keep in mind libra if this reading is resonating be sure to give it a big thumbs up share it with others to whom you think might benefit and be sure to press that subscription button. So, so I also see do, as well that it, it looks like that some of you might even receive a scholarship or perhaps you may enter a binding uh, financial type agreement. Which Libra, you certainly will be wise to kind of examine the small print very closely, remember, because sometimes these pages tend to rush into decisions quickly or hastily without really examining small print that might be shown in contracts, which would benefit you if you were to have, if you, if you read it, okay? Many of you, it looks like it, I'm kind of getting that you really worked hard and now You've come to the end of a very dark tunnel here, as I said, because the world is all about finalization, coming to the end of a stage, or particularly for those of you who have been having financial difficulties, reaching the light or finally reaching the light at the end of a very, 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 very hard tunnel here, or long tunnel, tunnel if you will, okay? And, of course, the world... Two also represents worldly success. So rest assured, Libras, that because this card is your cinemost focus here, the world is in fact your oyster. You can create your own narrative, Libras. Okay. Um, I'm also getting too that you are certainly ready to really expand your horizon here because the world brings about that too. And it also urges you to embrace something new. Even I'm seeing for some of you, you might even travel. Travel might be in your future. And rightfully so, okay? Because next year you have this Ace of Pentacles. And if it is travel, I'm, I'm feeling more so travel by air. I'm kind of getting for many of you. 
And with that Ace of Pentacles, as many of you already know, it denotes a new beginning. It, it denotes or it shows new money entering your life here. Understand, ladies and gentlemen, that this is certainly a very auspicious card here and that it tends to bring forth a substantial amount of money. It shows a windfall that might come towards you as well. Material comfort. Okay, and that windfall might even include a lottery hit for some of you guys or some type of gamble. Okay. No Libra that you... You've got the right Midas touch, okay? Because this card shows that your hard work will finally pay off. And it shows you being very serious, getting really a bit more serious with your finances. And it shows that you are happy to, to have finally, uh, many of you, you will be happy that you finally had an epiphany about your financial situations here. Keep in mind, Libra, that these cards are really strongly urging you to, to embrace. Once again, I have to stress this, to embrace new opportunities and to embrace more courage. Have more faith. Know that there is strength that comes after having gone through adversity. Spirit is saying, too, that some of you might even close a, a, a deal connected with property or real estate. Even I'm seeing some of you even finalizing. It looks like it potentially might even be a book deal, or, or you may, or you may finalize writing a manuscript or a book or something of that nature. Here, that's also possible. Some of you might even want to work internationally in some way. Okay, so expect. It looks like, like I said, I'm seeing some type of inheritance for some of you. Or money is certainly is going to start to flow from many, many sources, ladies and gentlemen. I'm also seeing a new house, a new job or bonus or even a promotion for many of you here. Okay. Or for those of you who have been unemployed or just simply because I'm getting a strong sense, Libras, that you hate a job. You can't stand working a job that you're doing, particularly if you are employed by someone else. You want to branch off or do something on your own here, I'm getting. And spirit, it seems that the outlook here in this reading certainly looks very positive. This is a very good reading, you know, Libras. I haven't seen um, many. It's almost just like the Gemini reading, you know, when it comes to your finances here. I see, Libra, that despite what you think, you're going to be very self-sufficient, okay? And because you have this page here, a young, practical, um, sensible type, it could be even male or female, may also enter your picture in some way. And because you have this ace here, this also can include it, even, even though we're not discussing romance, as this is not the scope of this discussion here. It could be even a new lover, all right, that might be coming towards you. All right. I'm also here to, the Spirit is just, just simply telling me to just tell you to, many of you just really need to simply embrace a bit more enthusiasm, inject more enthusiasm. I'm getting a strong indication that just looking at these cards here, many of you just to just get more deeply, deeply, uh, deep into your feelings here. I'm feeling that many of you, you have been feeling that your, you know, success is perhaps light years away here. And these cards are telling you to really stop worrying about your finances here. All right. But I do see something surfacing that see, looks like that. I don't know, something you, maybe you forgot to, you've been bouncing a lot of checks or doing something with your, something, it seems to be going on with your bank account or some type of a credit card. It looks like something is going to close or you may be, or you're going to close it or maybe the company will close it. I'm just seeing um, that possibility, okay? 
And I'm seeing something going on with an attorney, something connected with an attorney that you might be receiving a call or a letter or something that might come in towards you here. And it may be notifying you for those who have been going through a legal debacle that you're going to be receiving money here. Okay. And for some of you, that money might, it could potentially come now, but it may not come until during the spring of next year. Okay. Potentially. I also see, it looks like that some of you have been waiting to receive your, um, your income tax check or some type of uh, check from the government. I'm seeing that it's going to come towards you here. Okay. So your money situation should really start to improve as early as a week or at latest, um, no later than a month I'm seeing here, Libras. Okay. Leavers, keep in mind if this reading is resonating, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, share with others to whom you think might benefit, and be sure, Libras, to press that subscription button so that you receive all future readings, okay? So what I'd like to do, Libras, now is just to go on and just select the cards here for your spread, and then I'm just going to make a few general observations, okay, on the cards that appear. And then I'm going to go on and just address the issues mentioned from the onset. Okay. So, all right, then. For your past, Libra, we have the Four of Pentacles. Okay. Your present, Six of Pentacles. All right. We have Libras for what's not important in your situation. The Seven of Pentacles. Then we have what's important in your situation is the Ten of Pentacles. Libra, do you see how all of these cards are, appear to be very positive? Okay, let's look at what's your challenge. Wow, death. This is the shadow. Okay. Now let's look and see what's hidden, okay, in your situation that you might be unaware of. Wow, we have the tower here. So, because I don't like to just pull, you know, just leave a a placement with a negative card here, let's just go on and just um, pull two more cards to just gain more insight into this tower moment, if you will, because it could be positive or it could be negative. Let's see. Okay, we have the Nine of Pentacles. Okay. Libras. And let's select one more. We have the Magician. All right. So we know that it is it, it's not going to be as neck if it does. If something happens negative, it's almost as if when one door closes, another opens. Okay. And then let's look if you continue on as you are, Libra. Let's look at what your probable outcome might be. We have the Eight of Pentacles. Wow. All right. And we also have Libra. So I'm going to select another card. The star. So we already see Libras that you are the star in your situation. So now I'm going to, what I'm going to do is just to open these cards up a bit more here. Put these down so that I can see these cards a bit more clearly so that I can give you my fullest impressions here with looking at them. Okay. All right. Let's see what we have. All right. Wow. These are, you have a very good reading. And actually, I'm going to entitle this an amazing type reading here. Okay. So, Libra, I certainly see advancement at your current job or you're just receiving a new job, you know, should you decide to stay? It could it could go either way for 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 many of you here. Calibras, you are in fact a very skilled worker, okay? I'm seeing an increase in salary, an advancement, promotion, okay? I also feel too that a lot of you it looks like you feel very undervalued. OK, or and it seems that you'll have some conflict with key people. 
it looks like you may already be having those problems believers with authoritative type people authority type figures at your job maybe perhaps management and and this is because libra you are being um, compelled spirit is compelling you to kind of branch out on your own you're not meant to be working for anyone i'm kind of getting here and some of you might even be just holding back a bit too much or you just might be giving your bosses or your superiors reason to cause conflict for you because some of you may just not be doing your work. Some of you may be just um, shirking your duties, I'm kind of getting, okay? But the spirit is telling me that if you are to advance, if you advance at your job, it's only going to come after a period of struggle here or a conflict here because I do see that it's quite possible that many of you Kind of, again, you want to get, you want to do something else I'm kind of giving here, okay? I'm also, Spirit is kind of giving me, as well, a very strong indication, Libra, that um, for those of you who are employed here, it's, I just, just, I'm just getting a strong sense of misery, or you're just feeling miserable, you know, and, and many of you seem to have reached, it looks like a fork in the road and getting contemplating a new career. For some of you, I'm just going to just name a few uh, careers or occupations in which you like to maybe kind of, you know, kind of branch and do something differently from what you're doing now. Some of you may want to, like I said, be an entrepreneur or just start a new business. Or you want to do something in consulting or perhaps sales or marketing. Or, as I've indicated, I see some of you returning to school. You want to kind of um, hone your skills or improve your skills in some way here. Some of you might want to be considering a being a landscaper or a realtor. I'm even seeing a factory worker for some of you, a banker, or just... Simply just having a very successful family-owned practice here. For some of you, I even see that you might even want to do something in funeral services, I'm kind of getting. Or like a director or something. Or even be a firefighter or, or, or doctor. Or do be, it's like maybe a paramedic. Or do work, well, work in the hospital, I'm getting. Okay. Spirit is showing me here, looking at your spirit here. I'm also seeing financial gain really, really coming towards you guys. You know, I'm seeing you having more than enough money and you know, really not having to rely on um, anyone else. But I want to keep in mind, I want you to keep in mind, Libra, this is really, this seems to be more for you higher vibe Libras. For those of you who are acting in lower, lower type energies, toxic type energies, I don't see this for you. I'm sorry, but I do see it for, for higher uh, vibe Libras. Of course, those of you who are in lower energies, you can raise your vibrations here, you know, so that you can start receiving what's coming towards you. But I certainly see stability and security for many of you. I even see some of you even getting loans or attaining approval for credit cards, even receiving money from your family and inheritance, okay? But like I said, I do have to say to you and stress to you that because you have Libras, you have this tower card here you know and you have this death card here you can expect some type of loss or an unexpected type loss to occur and these troubles can come in many forms Libra so just be very very careful here you know it could come from maybe something that you might do in this with your investment or something within the stock market I'm kind of getting but just be careful all right However, in the final analysis, you know, I kind of see you reclaiming financial balance here. 
because Libras, we have we have a fresh start that is showing to you, that is that is coming towards you here. Okay, and we have you, you know, with with the magician card here. This card certainly shows you, Libras, transforming your financial misfortunes into financial gain here, okay? So I don't really see you really having really too much worry to be concerned, okay? So Libra, let's go on and just get more gain more insight into your reading. I'm going to go on and give you more specifics um, with what I'm seeing here. So let's start with your past here. We have the four of pentacles. All right. So with that card, Libra, that the, the sun governs that card and it's connected with Capricorn. And this, this card is all about selfishness and Always just holding on and maintaining the status quo as you as you see reflected in the symbolism in this card here. It shows a sense of stagnancy, Libras. It shows you hanging on to a job you didn't like, and it shows you are afraid of even perhaps taking a risk. Okay. You felt I'm kind of getting that you didn't have enough to feel secure, even if you did have money stashed away. So you held on, Libra, tightly to what you did have. And some of you even created a budget, okay? Because you were very overcautious, I feel. Some of you might have been a bit stingy with your resources and people may have saw you as such, okay? I feel that many of you even might have previously received a monetary gift or perhaps an inheritance of some sort. Some of you even might have even, uh, some of you may have even, it looks like purchase a new home I'm getting. All of this is connected in your past. But I feel that many of you certainly really worried incessantly about the acquisition of money or lever lack thereof. People even may have seen you as a, previously seen you, or saw you as a hoarder in some sense, or you even probably hoarded saw yourself as such, okay? But it looks like money did, in fact, come in from a business or you receive an unexpected check. And it was a financial surprise I'm getting here, Libra. And some of you with this card might have had a little bit left so that you could kind of stash a bit away for even retirement or you just simply started to invest for your future. And for those of you who may have children, you may have Put something away for them too here, okay? But I feel that during the, your past Libras, you really didn't trust what you felt, okay? You second guess yourself. And I feel the sense that you were also being so overcautious, you know, being that you were so overcautious, you were very cheap with yourself, I'm getting, all right? So let's go on and just select the card lever to, to represent your past or that represent your past here. I'm just picking up the cards already selected here. We have the six of pentacles. So this is your present lever and it looks very happy, doesn't it? Okay. So with this card, the moon governs this card and, it's in, it, is, and it is in Taurus. All right. So it certainly shows some type of compensation coming towards you. This card shows it's, it shows you for those of you who might be trying to who have applied for a loan or who is a, who are applying for a loan. I see you getting it. I'm seeing grants. Uh, I'm seeing you know money being received, particularly if someone owes you money, you're going to be getting it. And it looks like I'm, you probably will get this within six days to six weeks I'm getting. Okay, I'm seeing a bonus or a promotion because your hard work, Libra, is finally paying off. A lot of financial assistance is coming towards you. Okay, 
if those are you who are, you've been waiting for like your disability approval or, or pension or something of that nature, I'm seeing all of that coming, um, resolving in, in your favor. I'm also getting to that some of you might even also might, uh, some of you might be mentoring or training someone or even saving not only for your child's future, but also your retirement. I'm seeing that you're carrying on what you may have started in the past on into your future or into your present here. Libra, it seems that you are certainly making a conscious attempt to save for a rainy day. I'm getting, and that's good because you definitely have the Midas touch and understand spirit wants you to know that your needs are certainly going to be met. Multiple opportunities are definitely coming your way. So 